This is Josh in the middle of making a batch of beer on the system, which will eventually become the pilot system in the brew pub. What I'm doing right now is just recirculating the mash, helping set up the filter bed, which helps clarity and keeps the grains out of the boil kettle, which can add, make it taste bad in short. Uh, what you want to do is you just take it and you drain a little, pour it on top, drain a little, pour it on top. People seem to like this, so I continue to make it. I, I like it myself. I've been tweaking it for a couple years now. Different recipes here and there. Changing this yeast, adding a little bit of this grain. Now what we're doing now is a process called sparging. I'm actually fly sparging, which means I'm trying to add hot water to the top of the grain bed at approximately the same rate as it's coming out of the grain bed uh, due to to keep the grain bed from compacting you want to keep the rate about the same as you can and the slower you go the more extraction you get the higher your efficiency um, many of those out there that make beer completely understand this foreign language I'm speaking but the short answer is we're rinsing the sugar out of the grain which in turn will boil condense and the yeast will convert it to alcohol. Okay now we're chilling we've come back take a look here there's the yeast that's going to get added here's the boil kettle going down to the plate chiller Josh always gets water all over the floor and that's why you have a floor drain in a brewery and then here is the chilled wort going into the fermentation bucket he's swishing around the yeast here to add so we pour the yeast in once we know that the wort is cool enough coming out which it is we add our yeast there you have it that's uh that's uh beer making the quick basic way going to do a couple of simple ones tonight so you guys can see product going in and out, have some idea of what it is that we're trying to establish. This is a very, very, very basic tomato sauce. It's tomatoes and a little bit of olive oil. do with roasted red pepper, roasted red baby onions, mushrooms, and our homemade sausage. This is one of the sausages that Josh and I make. We made it a couple of, yeah, about a month ago. It's been in the freezer. Um, got that out today. It's a basic Italian sausage. Um, we have several that we make. Unfortunately, I don't have any pepperoni for you guys to see because I ran out and I don't have another batch made yet. Okay, here's all of them all done and ready for our dinner this evening. There's the mushroom, there is the margarita, and the sausage and pepper with roasted red onion and mushroom on the end. Okay, thank you very much for watching our video tonight, and we hope you're interested enough to uh, participate and come on in and see us and get a reward from us. Thank you very much.